hello guys uh, on my last tutorial i spoke about the collating sequence and the db2 code page right and i also told that uh, the non unicode database will consume less bytes compared to the unicode database okay so i thought why don't we just do a quick test case on what we learned um, on the last session right so in front of you i have one i have created one sql file and under the sql file i've uh, typed uh, different uh, sql commands okay so we're going to run this file from the command prompt and uh, do our test so what do i have in my sql file okay so basically <coughs> sorry about that what i'm trying to do here is um, i'm going to uh, create one table inside a non unicode database okay and insert some values into that uh, non unicode uh, uh, table or database and uh, then export uh, the table and uh, try to import this table into the unicode database okay uh, again if you remember i told you right um, that unicode database will consume more bytes compared to the non unicode okay so let's go through the sql file uh, and the commands which are uh, given in the sql file so the first line say connect to non uni so it, it is basically i'm trying to connect to the non uni code database and the name of the database also have kept like non uni okay just for a reference now i'm creating a table in my next step the table name is uni in for that table i have two columns one is id column which is integer value and i have a name which is a var of 6 okay so this is the most important thing here it's a var of 6 name it's a var of 6 then i'm trying to insert a value into the uni table okay so for the id value i have given one and uh, for the var care column i have the name column i have given some it's a french uh, some special characters i've tried here okay so we have two characters here then i'm basically trying to select from the table whether i have inserted the things properly or not then i am taking an export of that um, table into a uni.ixf file okay we'll uh, look into this uh, kind of format uh, later in the class okay so basically here i'm just trying to export that into a uni.ixf file so i'm and i am trying to export all of the content when when i give star means it all of the content of the uni table will be exported to this particular file okay so and just for a test that we don't have an issue with an export i am trying to import the data again back to the uni table so i'm just doing import into the uni table inside the same uh, database just just want to make sure that there's no issue with the export okay so once we have done the import i'm just again i'm doing a select so uh, this point in time we should see two rows okay and then i'm uh, disconnecting from my database uh, non uni okay so basically create the table insert the value exp export the value and import it again on the same uh, database and table and just check it again okay this is our first step and second step is look it's connected to the test test is nothing but our um, say unicode database okay and i'm creating the same table here what we created here okay and with the same bytes okay var graph 6 var graph 6 and i'm trying to import what we exported from the non unicode database into this table now and then do a select and connect to it okay so let's see what happens here Okay, so just this is the way you run a SQL file in DB2. Uh, DB2 hyphen TBF. Okay, F means the file name. Okay, in test SQL and in just the Unix command to get the output on the screen. Okay, just let me run this file. Okay, so the script execution. Let's go through the output one by one. Now, if you see, uh, the first thing was to connect to the database. Okay, so our connection has worked fine here, and uh, then we have uh, created the table. Okay, so we have two columns in the table, and it was created successfully. If you see here, it was created successfully. Then we have inserted the value here. Again, it was successful. Then we did a select of that table, and it shows one row, one record selected. 
okay so whatever we inserted was inserted correctly and then try we have tried to export the table right so number of rows exported one okay now going further down uh, you see I'm importing the table again into the same table right S and it has inserted successfully rows read inserted committed now when we do the select again it is showing two rows right once before the export and after the export one row so, so we have two rows so the results are expected for the same database now uh, when we try to import this data back into the unicode database let's see what happens so we have connected to the uh, unicode database okay we have created the table successfully okay now we are trying to import the file into the unicode database so if you see here we're getting some kind of a was not inserted into a table some some kind of an error here right right it is not able to insert the row into this table even though uh, it has the same length right now if you go further down you see that uh, it has read the row but uh, it has rejected the row for some reason right and when you try to do a select from the on that table it shows that there's no rows there's nothing inserted on this unicode database now this is happening because i told right uh, you need more bytes uh, when you um, how, the, how the data like how the data is coded in inside a unicode database okay it, it can support multiple characters multiple variables uh, multiple data but uh, the only problem is it needs more space right and in internet will impact the performance as well so how do we fix this problem right so let me just uh, drop the tables once i created once another script which will just drop the tables what you have created okay so, so i'm just trying to connect to test and then dropping the table and i'm connecting to non uni database and dropping the table okay there's nothing uh, funky there now let's go through our sql file okay so as per our theory we need more space here right so let's double it and read another script so far so good okay so as you can see here i'm just go through the last thing uh, we are connecting to the unicode database here table was created successfully now there are no errors here when we try to re-import the data into the unicode database okay rows read inserted everything and it looks perfectly fine okay well, the only change we did was we were we have increased the bar character to 12 okay so in a practical scenario when you're trying to migrate from a unicode uh, non-unicode to unicode you are going to have thousands of tables right thousands of tables means uh, in each and every table you might have 10 columns minimum maybe maybe 100 columns okay so it's a lot of work okay so whenever you you're getting a project where you have to design a database beforehand try to go with unicode or look at the business scene whether they will be loc localized or will be a multinational company so all those inputs you require before you create the database okay th th there's no use of crying later that uh, we did not plan properly or it was done by someone else right so i hope you like like uh, this test case okay and in the future also whenever we are i'm doing some topic i'll try to do a test case on that so practically you can understand uh, what we're going through thanks a lot guys